John, uh, a full week of, of training uh, this week. I imagine that was nice. Just you know, see the lads out there. Um, no doubt, got a, a bit of rest recovery in. But uh, just how's everyone looked this week? It's been good because uh, we came through Saturday with no injuries, so uh, we've been able to have a full week of just concentrating on Saturday's game. So uh, hopefully that will uh, uh, help with the result on Saturday. How nice was it to, to see everyone fit and ready? You, you know, you, you have struggled with injuries this season and yeah, full team selection on Saturday, no doubt. Yeah, apart from the long-term injuries, then uh, it's, it's nice that uh, for two games we were able to keep the same team uh, where we had to swap and change because of injuries. But, uh, but no, I think uh, after the run of games that we've had, to, to come through that and uh, finish with a, with a win on Saturday and play well, then hopefully um, that can propel us forward now and uh, if we can get a result on Saturday, keep the confidence going and uh, I move on to uh, which is the most important thing is the, the game against all the shop. Emirates FA Cup action on Saturday um, at home to Chester. Um, do you know much about them? Yeah, yeah, I know quite a few of the players. Um, they're a good footballing team. Um, aren't doing as well as what they did last season uh, at the moment. But I'm sure they'll they'll uh, they'll improve as the season goes on with the players that they've got. Um, now they're a good footballing team and they've got players in there who've played at a higher level. And uh, we've just got to make sure that we're right for Saturday because uh, obviously we all know with the FA Cup if you're not if you're not at it, then it can bite you. So. Uh, but Saturday is more about us and making sure mentally we're, we're right because if we are then obviously we've got a great chance of, of getting through to the next round. Yeah, it's a different competition. Does it have that different feel to it in, in preparation with it being an FA Cup game rather than the league game? Yeah, the FA Cup's always special and uh, it's not so much on, on Saturday although every time you play in the FA Cup it, it, it's, 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 uh, it's nice to play in because it's a distraction from, from the league. But uh, obviously you're looking to get into the first round and then hopefully then to the third round when the big boys come in. Um, but uh, you've got to take each, each game as it comes, as they always say. And uh, if we can progress Saturday, then we'll all be looking forward to uh, the first draw um, against uh, when obviously the league teams come in. Yeah, obviously quite a few players in the squad have had standout memories in this competition. You yourself, either as a player or a manager, have you um, had many memories from the FA Cup? Yeah, I think uh, obviously as a player, you know, played and caused cup, to, cup upsets with, with the club that I was at. And uh, with Port Vale, we got through to the third round and played Man City away in front of a packed house. Um, which is special memories and I think everybody who watches football have all got the memories whether it's uh, watching or playing and uh, it, you never forget them and uh, you know, the FA Cup's still got that, that special feel to it and um, you know, it's, uh, it's just great to be involved. Yeah, and is that the message to the squad? You know, you draw back on them experiences, them special moments, and you know, you hope even the younger players in the squad, you know, that you hope they get to make their own memories this season. Yeah, and that's what it's about. We, um, but to do that, it's it's hard work. If you want to get into third round, fourth round, then uh, these are the games where you have got to make sure that you're at it, because if we're not, then obviously you don't get to experience those those nice times. So, uh, no, we've got to make sure that, that we're right on Saturday because uh, not only is it important that we get a win and keep the confidence going, but financially it's important as well. Yeah, does Saturday give you an opportunity to uh, maybe rotate the squad or can we expect a, a strong 11 on Saturday? Yeah, I think whatever team we play out will be strong, um, but it does give us that opportunity if we want to to, to have a look at one or two players who've, who've not been playing. So, uh, but... Uh, Obviously, uh, we'll work on that today in training and uh, whoever goes out there, I'm sure they're more than capable of, of winning the game. Yeah, and, and two player movements. The first, Ozzy Agatise, obviously, depart in the club and you know he leaves with the best wishes. Yeah, we came in for a month uh, for us to have a look at it, have a look at him. Um, we didn't feel it at the moment, you know, he's ready and what we need. Um, but uh, I'm sure he'll go and get a club and with the ability he's got then there's no reason why he shouldn't progress in the game 
and uh, no, we wish him all the best and uh, thank him for what he's done for us. Yeah, and a short-term loan incoming in Terrell Agjimang from, from Middlesbrough. Uh, what can you say about him? Yeah, we've watched him quite a bit. Um, obviously, he's got a good pedigree. I mean, started at Man City and Middlesbrough have taken him on for two years. He's 20, 20 years of age, midfield player. He can play full-back as well. Um, no, we're look, looking forward to working with him because he's got a lot of ability. Um, but obviously it's different in men's football and that's why he's with us to uh, play competitive football. So hopefully he'll get his chance and, and take it like Zach has. You know, I think Zach's improved with each game. And uh, no, as I say, looking forward to seeing him play.